Hello, this is Shadow Dragon with Team Shadow Airsoft, and this is a review of the Fur Friends fully licensed IAR 14 inch AEG. Opening the box for the first time, you will receive a fully metal 14 inch replica, and if you get the 10 inch, it will include the 10 inch, as well as a 300 round full metal high cap magazine. Both the upper and lower on this replica are full metal, the stock and the grip are both polymer. The rail is M-lock all the way down, as well as the top having a Picatinny rail of the full length of the rifle. The 10-inch model retails at $350 US, and the 14-inch model retails at $360 US. The gearbox is a version 2 gearbox, full metal and fully upgradable, and this is supposed to simulate the real weight of a Fur Friends M4. Now, when you get into magazines. Uh, I've tested a lot of magazines this gun, including the Elite Force, a few Hexagon magazines, and a few more. You can see me here testing out a few, and they all seem to work perfectly fine. I have not had any issues with loading or fitment, and as well as the uh, rattle back and forth and the shaking, there is absolutely no issues with uh, how they fit with the wobble. I also tried a PTS mag in here as well as a few other standard M4 mags that I had laying around and like I said before there are absolutely no issues with the feed or the fitment of the magazines. One gripe I did have about this uh, replica is the battery space. Uh, the stock in this gun as I'm about to show here is honestly a very big downfall. Um, the piece I'm holding right here that I just took off actually cuts off the space between it, the two sides of your stock, and make it so that the wires will be almost cut off. Um, it is also a Tamiya battery in here, as you can see here. Uh, I am going to try fitting a Titan battery in here, which does fit if you leave the divider out. Um, like right here is the Tamiya battery connection. And this is the part right here. This is a weight that is supposed to mimic the real steel version, but it cuts off everything inside. It is just held by this one screw right here, which also holds your stock in place. It's probably about a eight inch screw. Um, if you put the stock back on right here, as I'm doing so, uh, you can actually, while leaving the divider out, fit a 11-1 Titan nunchuck style in both sides and it will fit pretty well. But the stock itself is a, it's not 100% a standard crane stock. Uh, the back of it is very awkward to take off and put back together. It's very polymer and the plastic itself does not stay stiff as it normally should. Now you can't see what I'm doing because my arm is in the way but the plastic on this buttstock feels as if it's flexing too much. Um, and as I'm about to show here in a second, the wires will not work when you use this little divider piece. So when you put the buttstock back on, the 11-1 fits in there pretty well. Um, and it still adjusts up and down, no issues at all. Um, but as you see right here, your wires are going to be showing. So if you do decide to stick with the original stock, you're going to be leaving this uh, little divider piece out a lot. Now this is a standard rotary hop-up. It is very plasticky, but I have a gripe with the hop-up. It did not hop point threes, and I did not get much distance out of my point threes. Uh, as you see here, these are going to be tested with point twos. You're getting about 1.1 joules at about 340 FPS with about 19 rounds a second at 336 FPS here. So about 1.1 joules. Um, accuracy with point twos is all right, I would say. Uh, your consistency is pretty much on point with point twos at a 50 to 60 yard range. Um, this is me testing with point threes here. And this is where I was not reaching that far. Um, there's some trees right here in the distance. I was reaching all right, but overall it is not what I expected. I would give the internals on this gun a four out of 10 and the externals probably about a eight to nine out of 10. 
So in all honesty, I'm probably going to take the average and rate this a 6 out of 10, only because the performance is not there. But thank you everyone, this is Shadow Dragon, and we'll see you next time.